Hello. On Saturday, our country celebrated its 244th birthday on the 4th of July. Today, I'd like to share with you a book about my favorite pig, Olivia, and how she shared her 4th of July. It's called Olivia Forms a Band. Olivia couldn't find her other red sock. What's the matter, asked her mother. I can't find my other red sock, said Olivia. What are all those things on the floor? They don't go with this one. Here's her sock. My goodness, look at all these other socks. They look the same. How could they not match? I don't know. Let's find out. I found it. Doesn't look like it's much different, do you think? Olivia's mother was packing a picnic. I want everyone ready by seven for the fireworks, she said. And the band, cried Olivia. Oh, I don't think it would be a band, said her mother. But you can't have fireworks without a band, explained Olivia. My goodness, Olivia has a lot of opinions, doesn't she? I know. We'll be the band, said Olivia. Now here's Mom and Dad and her brother Ian and baby brother William. And look at their reaction. They're all turning away. They don't want to be part of the band, do they? Fine, said Olivia. I'll be the band. What kind of band are you thinking of, asked her mother. She's thinking a rock band. And Olivia's thinking a fireworks band, of course. Looks like a marching band to me. But sweetheart, one person can't be a whole band, said Olivia's mother. Why not? Because the word band means more than one person. And a band sounds like more than one person. This morning, you told me I sounded like five people. All day long, Olivia gathered something that she needed to make her band. She gets a whistle, goes into the cupboard, gets pot covers, finds a bell, and my goodness, she's got a coat hanger. I wonder what she's going to do with the coat hanger. All the other things make noises, don't they? She goes to her baby brother, William, and offers him a milk bottle in exchange for his xylophone. Then she goes to Ian and offers him a box of cookies in exchange for his drums. Thank you, she says to both of them. Look at Ian eating all of those cookies. Do you think your parents would want you to eat all those cookies all at once? Now she goes up to Dad. He lowers his newspaper and there's his red suspenders. She unhooks them in the front, goes around to the back, unhooks them in the back, and my goodness, look what happens. And her reaction is, look, Daddy, we're twins. Her outfit and his shorts. My goodness, I don't think that would be a good idea to do at home, do you? Finally, she was finished. All that was left for her to choose the perfect outfit. So she puts all her clothes on the floor and decides what she's going to wear. Now, while Mom is changing William, we hear, Ping! Tinkle, tinkle! Cling! Strum! Clang! Tink, tink, tink! Thump! Tink! Thump! Bang, bang! Whap! What do you think she's doing? And when she marched in, everyone agreed that Olivia did sound like more than one person. And there she is! She's got her bell, and there's where the coat hanger come, came in. She's got her whistle, the drum, the pots on her feet, and the xylophone. And we hear, tink, whistle, clang, dong, boom, ping, ping, pong, whistle, ting, 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 clang, boom, dong, ding. Oh, my goodness. And she imagines herself as the leader of the band. To Olivia, she sounded like a real band. Is that what a real band sounds like to you? Hmm. At seven o'clock, Olivia's mother was trying to get everyone into the car. Olivia, aren't you going to bring your band, she asked. I don't feel like it. My goodness, after all that work, she didn't decide to bring it with her. Well, don't forget to put everything away, her mother said. Okay, Mommy, where are you going? 
I have to put on my makeup, said Olivia. All right, sweetheart, but hurry. And then all of a sudden, Mom thinks, makeup? Hmm, let's see what Olivia's going to do here. The final touch. Looks like she's got Mom's lipstick. And she looks really proud of herself. What do you think Mom's going to think? There she is again. Wipe that glop off your face, young lady, and get in the car now. Hmm, doesn't look like Mom's very happy, does it? Of course, when they got there, Olivia said, Mommy, I have to go to the bathroom. And of course, then Ian said, I have to go to the bathroom too. William just went to the bathroom. The sun was setting. They ate sandwiches and corn on the cob and strawberries and watermelon. Mom had brought a really nice picnic, hadn't she? When are the fireworks gonna start, asked Olivia. When it gets dark, explained Mom. When will it be dark? Soon, sweetheart. Is it dark yet? Almost be patient. Doesn't sound like Olivia's very patient, does it? Now is it dark? Finally, the fireworks started. Here they go. And you know what's going to come next, don't you? They were beautiful. Look at those beautiful fireworks. And they're sitting on the beach watching it. It was very late when they got home. We've got all three of the children asleep in Mom and Dad's arms. Climb into bed, sweetheart, said Olivia's mother. No book tonight. Aren't you going to come and kiss me goodnight, asked Olivia. In a minute, and don't forget to put your band away. Hmm. After Ian and William were tucked into bed, Olivia's mother tiptoed into Olivia's room. Clink, ping, tong, tink, oink, oink, thud, crash, bang, poing, thump, pring, crunch, boom. What happened? Do you think Olivia put all of her band away? Olivia, I told you to put your band away. I could have broken my neck. You got the bell in her ear, the xylophone in her arm the pot hole top on her arm. She put her foot through the drum. My goodness. But Olivia was fast asleep. And here she is dreaming about being on the Supreme Court. Maybe that's our next book. The end.